Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Kinesthetics here, helping you get the body you desire, the strength you desire, and also the fitness levels as well. So you someone that's new to intermittent fasting, or would you like to get into intermittent fasting? And are you concerned about getting hunger and you're not sure how you can reduce your hunger while intermittent fasting? Because if so, I'm gonna teach you a few different ways that you can easily sustain intermittent fasting without feeling extremely hungry so you can actually sustain doing it on a regular basis long term to get the greatest benefits for achieving a very lean aesthetically pleasing body with a low body fat percentage because if so I'm going to teach you how you can do all of that in this Video. So everything I'm going to share with you is from my own personal experience and from what I've learned over about a 10 month journey of intermittent fasting every single day. Because there's loads of different ways of intermittent fasting but the most common way and also the most easiest type of intermittent fasting that I find for most people is known as the 16-8 method where you fast for around 16 hours and eat for it around an eight hour window. And some people push it even further. I fast anywhere from 16 to 21 hours a day. Some people do one meal a day, which is becoming very popular in the natural health movement and the intermittent fasting movement. So yeah, some people will push it up to 23 hours and just eat for one hour a day. So you've got a choice from many different ways that you wanna do it. But I say for most people, it's better to start off with the 16-8 method, it's quite easy. Because if you stop eating, say around, 8 p.m. you just have to skip your morning meal and not eat till 12 the next day so for a lot of the hours you're actually asleep so it makes it a lot easier so my first tip for reducing hunger is very very simple make sure that you are well hydrated throughout the day because if you're not drinking enough water you will be quite dehydrated and it will just start to have a negative effect on you overall. It's not just gonna make you feel more hunger. But as well, when you're drinking a lot of water, your stomach is gonna feel a lot more fuller. So I find, for me personally, and a lot of other people find this around the world, staying well hydrated throughout the day is really key for reducing your hunger. And what I do is, if I do start to feel quite hungry, I will just drink quite a bit of water and I would personally recommend drinking anywhere from a quarter of a quart to half a quart of water and then seeing if you still feel hungry and the second one is making sure that you're just quite busy throughout your day because if you're lying around and you're getting bored you will start to think about food because eating food is very pleasurable and it gives us a dopamine high which makes us feel very good and can make us feel very alive so for me personally I just go and make videos like I am now, or I go and coach people online, or I do some research into something, or I watch some YouTube videos, and I just keep myself preoccupied. I don't just do brainless activity, because that can just bore me, and I will just feel a desire for foods. So try and do something that just makes you feel really good, and that just takes your mind away from food. And the third one, that is very, very effective, that I used myself quite a bit in the past, and that is exercising because when you exercise it works very well as an appetite suppressant so I'm not saying that you need to go and do very very hardcore or intense exercise because not everyone during the fasting state is able to do quite intense exercise so you could just go out on a bike and ride gently for like half an hour or you could go and like run like 3k or just something that you find it's easy for you to do while you're fasting. And when I find that I'm combining water just before and after the exercise as well, those two working synergistically just seems to help me massively reduce my appetite and my hunger. And the fourth one I found that is really effective, if you're finding after doing all of those things I've mentioned, you're still getting quite intense hunger while intermittent fasting, get yourself some raw, organic, unfiltered, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar that is preferably in a glass bottle because if not, the acidity from the apple cider vinegar, if it's in a plastic bottle, will begin to leach out those plastic substances and it contains things such as xenoestrogens, which is the chemical form of estrogen and it will raise your estrogen levels and you don't want to be doing that, especially as a male because it will lower your testosterone levels. And for me personally, I want to be boosting my testosterone levels as much as 
possible because yeah it just helps you grow muscle increase your energy levels it's also good for giving you a good state of mind and feeling really good and increasing your libido and many other different positive effects mentally and physically and if you don't know where to get this type of apple cider vinegar from i'm going to put two links down below for a supplier that can deliver to your door that sells some of the most highest quality apple cider vinegar one link will be for a us supplier that can deliver to your door and one for a uk supplier so what you would do with this is very, very simple. Get yourself around eight ounces of water and get one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar, mix it in there and then drink it down. And if you really don't like the taste of it because it can be quite strong and not a lot of people like it, I actually love it. But if you don't, get a straw and bypass your teeth and put it to the back of your throat and drink it. Down. And once you've drunk it afterwards, make sure that you wash your mouth around with plain water for about 30 seconds or so because otherwise the acidity of the apple cider vinegar can have a negative effect on the enamel on your teeth. And you could drink this one to two times during your intermittent fasting window. And the brilliant thing is, it has no calories whatsoever. So it will not break you out of your fasted state at all. And I have found out of all the things that I've mentioned so far this is one of the best things for suppressing my appetite and loads of other people find the same thing as well and last but not least the fifth reason is making sure that when you are eating during your eating window that you are eating a lot of calories I really don't recommend calorie restriction whatsoever and it has been shown recently there was a scientific study that I will try and find and put a link down below is that comparing calorie restriction to intermittent fasting for weight loss it was showing that they were both equally as good for losing weight so you don't really need to be combining intermittent fasting and also calorie restriction at the same time I just don't think it's good whatsoever you want to be supplying your body with abundance of the macronutrients that it needs to run effectively and for you to feel good throughout the day and I have found from my own personal experience when I haven't eaten enough calories during my eating window during the fasting state I find it a lot harder to fast for the period that I want to fast so make sure that you are eating enough calories and that you're not restricting the amount of food that you're eating at all and I would highly recommend as well eating as much nutrient dense food in relation to micronutrients the things such as vitamins and minerals because when you're eating an abundance of whole foods that are plant-based for example they supply your body with an abundance of these micronutrients which are key for making you feel satiated for longer and for reducing your appetite whilst you're in your fasting state because a lot of people out there are eating processed junk food that is void of nutrients and they find even when they're stuffed they're still hungry and a lot of these foods contain MSG which can still make you feel very hungry after eating the food that contained the MSG. So yeah, they're my top five tips. Get them all into place and you'll easily be able to sustain intermittent fasting on a weekly basis to get the greatest results for burning fat off of your body but also increasing your longevity, your vitality, your skin health and improve your overall well-being as well so that's it for this video if you have any questions on anything that I've talked about in this video or any questions in relation to intermittent fasting or if you'd like me to make any specific videos on intermittent fasting then let me know down below and I'll make those videos for you as soon as possible and if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone you think would love to hear about this valuable information that I shared with you today in relation to reducing hunger while intermittent fasting and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below make sure when you hit the subscribe button that you click the bell notification button next to this otherwise you will not be notified of when new videos are posted and what I'm going to do is put three video links here one will be here telling you how intermittent fasting can increase your human growth hormone levels by up to 2000% and two other videos on intermittent fasting to help you achieve intermittent fasting with getting the greatest results possible. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Stay strong, stay fit, and go and get those gains. Peace.